All right. Let's, let's, let's go to work. As a man thinketh. Yes. I want to work on this. Oh, yeah. Amen. So is he. So is he. And I want to put us between several scriptures. Mm -hmm. As a man thinketh, so is he. One. Mm -hmm. A fool weighs his right in his own eyes. Amen. Two. Mm -hmm. Because I want to break down the scripture, the true definition, as a man thinketh, so is he. And let me ask you a question. Is he what he think? Mm. Well, Pastor Jenny, the Bible said, as a man thinks, so is he. That's true. But is he what he thinks? Is he what he thinks? Wonderful. Come on. All right, I want to put your thinking cap on and take you to school today. Proverbs chapter 23. Follow me. And we'll start at verse 6. All right. Eat, not, eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil Get eye. Get chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 23, we're beginning at verse 6. Yes. Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye. Don't you eat the bread of him that... Got an evil eye. Don't you mingle with the one that's up to no good. That's right. That's what that means. That's right. All right. Neither desire thou his dainty meats. Don't desire what he or she have to offer you. That's right. Yes. For as he thinketh in his heart. As he thinketh in his heart. So is he. So is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. Eat. And drink, saith he to thee, says he, but their heart is not with thee. They don't mean you no good. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's right. A lot of times, many have brought me this scripture. Uh -huh. One think, so is he. So is he. And they use it loosely. Mm -hmm. Well, Pastor Jenna, don't that mean whatever I think, I'm that? No. <laughs> no. Let me make an example. No way. How many here used to drink and really got drunk? Why well, your hand ain't up? Pass. Come on. Can't win, pass. Come on, Jake. <laughs> I mean, he's this close to me. I just had to ask. Him. Oh Lord. Do you remember anything you said when you was drunk? Now. You get someone that's under the influence of alcohol, most time, they think things based upon the alcohol that's in them. That's true. That's right. And right away, some will say, I'm God. That's right. What? That's what he thinks. That's, what, that's right. But that don't mean he is. That's right. He or she is so drunk or so high. Yeah. They think they can fight a Mack truck. That's right. But he can't. Right. So as a person think, so is he. So is The question he. is, is he what he think in God's eyes? Mm. Or is he what he think in his eyes? In the book of Proverbs, chapter 12 and verse 15. Follow me. Proverbs, chapter 12 and verse 15. Get this. The way of a, of a fool. Oh. Amen. The way of a fool. Is right. How? In his own eyes. A lot of these men think they're preachers. That's right. But they are nothing but suit wearing thieves. That's right. Come on, James. And many of them are really under delusion, believe that they are God sent. God sent. That's right. And many of them know they're not God sent, but church is a convenient business. Yes, it is. That's all it is. That's right. A convenient business for heathens and pulpit hypocrites that have no fear for God at all. That's right. And if you don't fear God, it's in Possible to value the souls of the followers. That's right. That's right. So just like a man or a woman get drunk and lose their head and tell you anything, anything. The pulpit will get drunk off power, drunk yeah. off greed, drunk off money, and tell you anything, anything that make you feel good. That's right. That's true. That's right. As one think, so is he. So is he. So, so the is question he. is, how is that process? Of thinking. Mm. You ever met some folk who really thought they were deep? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes. 
They think they know every subject. And they so far out of left field with their information. They don't know what they don't know. Yeah. Now, whatever God say, he that think he know, right. knoweth. There was nothing. 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 So you have many that think they also have the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And don't. In other words, you can't take a scripture and run with it without making the scriptures harmonize right. so you don't believe a lie about yourself or even assume a lie about yourself. You also want to know the truth about yourself even if that truth about you make you angry. That's right. Because one thing about God, he will never lie on you. No. He will never lie to you. No. Neither will he give you any emotion to deceive you. That's right. First Corinthians chapter 8 and we're at verse 2. But Satan, he'll put somebody in your life to trick you. Yes, he will. He'll put somebody in your life to fool you. He'll put somebody in your life to exalt you just so your fall can be harder and greater. That's right. Are you listening? First Corinthians chapter 8 and at verse 2. First Corinthians 8 and 2 says, And if any man think that he knoweth anything. Yeah. If any man think he know how much? Anything. Or anything across the board. That's right. What? He knoweth nothing. He knoweth nothing. Yet as he ought to know. What he should know, he don't know. That's right. When you first come into the knowledge of God, the knowledge of holiness, you haven't yet learned it. So it isn't wise to go out and try to explain it. That's right. Well, I want to save my wife and save my children. You first master saving yourself. That's right. Or do like the woman at the well. She told them, come. Come see, see a man. Come see a man. Who told me everything? Everything. If you don't have your information right according to the scriptures, why speak? That's right. That's the right. book says speak what you know. Yes. That's right. What you don't know, don't touch. If thou hast understanding. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5 and verse 12. If you have understanding. Answer thy neighbor. If thou hast understanding. If you have understanding. Answer thy neighbor. Then, then answer. If not. Yeah, yeah. That's if right. you don't understand, why try to answer? That's right. Right, that's right. That's like right. Like you hear false prophets over the air. That's right. Social media. Try to explain the Bible. And if someone asks him a question, the best explanation they can give, oh, it means what it says. That's true. In other words, they, they can't explain it. They can't explain it. Now, imagine the scripture that we just read earlier. If thy hand offend thee, cut it off. And I don't explain it. And just tell you, it means what it says. Mm. And you overzealous. You might take out a knife right while I'm preaching. Pastor Jennings, I mean to go back with Jesus. That's a lot of hands. That's right. You will become very handy. <laughs> yes, you will. We have a church full of hands and blood everywhere. That's right. Or like the Old Testament when God told the prophet Ezekiel, eat, eat the, whole roll. the whole roll. Now, if I don't explain that, everybody in here is going to be chewing like a billy goat. That's right. Ripping the pages out their Bible. Yeah. I'm like, what's going on with you? I want to get the word in me. <laughs> no. So many don't understand the book. Yeah. Like the writing came on the wall in the days of Danny, Daniel. Many, many to kill you for sin. The soothsayers couldn't understand it. The child deans couldn't say it, uh, couldn't understand it. The uh, astrologers couldn't do it. The magicians couldn't do it. Nobody of the wisdom of the world could understand the writing. And then the suggestion was made, let Daniel be oh, called. That's right. Why? What was in Daniel was not in the other fellas. That's right. That's right. Light was in Daniel. Light was in what you mean light? Where there's light, then the definition of the writing he be able to interpret by the light of God or the wisdom of God and the understanding of God. That's right. It's like a heart surgeon. 
when one is under the knife of heart surgery, the lights is very bright in that room. Yeah. Yeah. But a lot of times, the surgeon also have a strap on his head. Yeah. The light, because he want more light. More light. Yeah. Because the heart, this patient is trusting this surgeon yeah. to perform this surgery. And the heart is delicate. So the chief surgeon, be it man or woman, cannot afford to have anyone participating in the surgery who's queasy. Mm -hmm. Quick to fall out. That's right. Quick to faint. He or she needs soldiers around this patient who can stand with him or her through this long journey of surgery. He don't want to be distracted until he should not have to put his instruments down to even wipe the sweat. The one next to him, wipe the sweat. That's right. Why? His job is I want to focus. That's right. I got a life in my hand. That's the way the preacher's supposed to be. Supposed to be. That's right. He must be a divine or spiritual surgeon working on your heart with scripture. That's right. So he don't have the time. To be distracted by the materialistic garbage yeah. that Satan had dropped in the earth to pull people away yeah. as right. God performs surgery upon their heart. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. But that's what you are here today for yeah. to be cut on. Cut on. And if you didn't come to be cut on because you're here, you're going to be cut on anyway. That's right. Even if you're not ready, you're going to feel a prick. Yes, you will. Somewhere from this book. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. And it will be good that you feel it for your protection, for your salvation, and for your consideration. If you will consider. Consider. The things that God say yeah. concerning you. Drop your pride. That's right. Never approach God looking at what you know. Yeah. Never approach God thinking you're knowing anything. Anything. When you approach God, you That's have right. approached wisdom. That's right. When you have approached God, you have approached him that know all. Know all. So how could us, a mere mortal human being, approach God like we're deep? That's right. A creature approach its creator. Its creator. We know nothing compared to God. That's right. So when one comes to God, look at yourself as clay, and he is a potter, and subject yourself to being molded and shaped and fashioned That's in right. the manner that pleases him. That's it. Don't think you so much no. of anything. That's right. Don't look at what you have. The Lord giveth. And the Lord taketh away. Take it away. Take it away. He said, Nigga, you came in the world. Nigga, you shall return. That's why it is hard to find wealthy people serving the Lord. That's right. Because in their arrogant, self righteous mindset, what do I need God for? I got money. I can get anything I want. That's right. What do, I, what do I have to pray for? Their inward thought is... Listen, listen, here, here. You see, we, we, love, we love to get Bible for all of this. That's right. All right, William, let's go to work. Psalms 49, we'll start reading at verse 10. Psalms 49, begin at verse 10. For he seeth that wise men died, likewise the fool. Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Amen. All you wise, educated folk out there, mm -hmm. I want to show you, you really don't have nothing over a foolish person. That's right. You, 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 may, you may know alphabets backward and forward yeah. and know letters that's not even in the alphabet. That's right. But you really don't have much over on someone that's stupid. No. Touching life and death. That's right. 
When you're born, you're born like a fool. Mm -hmm. You come from a womb just like anybody else. Yeah. You have to learn if you choose to like anybody else. Yeah. You have to serve God like anybody else. Yeah. That's right. And then eventually you die. You have to eat, sleep, drink yeah. water to survive, brush your teeth if you choose to. Take a bath if you believe in water and soap. <laughs> That's right. Or walk around funky. <laughs> That's, right. <laughs> hey! That's right. Oh, Rich, say God. Do you hear this? For he seeth that wise men die. He seeth that wise men die. Die. Likewise the fool. Just like the fool. And the brutish person perish. The brutish person perish. And leave their wealth to others. All of you arrogant, self-righteous, self-centered celebrities yeah. who get your Global Award or Music Award or yeah. MTV Award, whatever you want you have. Right. Every award from man is trivial. That's right. Every award from God is everything. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You should seek and live yeah. and strive for that reward that God has laid up, laid up. for those that obey him. That's right. When the word of God said there's laid up for me a crown of righteousness that the righteous judge shall give me at that day. I don't want you to get mixed up at the phrase that was used, crown. Don't look at it as something you see on television, like a king put on his crown. It's what? not that. No. Crown is symbolic. It means a reward. What is the crown? What is the reward? Eternal life is the crown. Eternal life is the reward. Right. Which is more than putting something on your head. Oh, yeah. It's being able to walk talk and be in the presence of your Lord yes. throughout That's right. eternity. That's right. But for me to get that reward, I got to earn it. Earn it. I got something to do right here. Oh, yeah. Where does it start? With me. With me. With I got to deal with my own madness. That's right. I have to bring myself under subjection. That's right. Got to change my lifestyle that I'm so used to living. Yeah. The word of God attack my habits. Yeah. Amen. Tell me anything, any thought, any journey that I take that God is against. God is saying no, but my flesh is saying yes. So I got to beg God to bring me under subjection. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. When we are so used to doing what we want to do and answer to nobody. Yeah. When we are so used to saying what we want to say and answer to nobody. Nobody. Used to being arrogant, used to being self-righteous, used That's to right. being a thief, used to being a robber, used to being a user. That's right. Used to all these ills. Yeah. Until our sins have shaped our character. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Our sinful life has shaped, mold, formed our character. That's right. And now God is calling for is. a new creature. Yeah. Oh, yes. new. A new, new creature. creature. That's right. Well, there's no way hmm. I can do this on my own. No way. So let us go back to the example I often make about the caterpillar. Mm -hmm. yeah, come on, Jake. A caterpillar <laughs> lifestyle he moves slow, uh -huh. but it get where it have to go. Oh, yes. That's right. Certain time of year, by God's permission, the caterpillar spins its silk. Because it come time in the life of the caterpillar that separation is mandatory before conversion. That's right. It must separate itself from all other caterpillars in order to get a new body. 
and to get a new name, it must isolate itself. For your mind to change and your behavior to change and your thought process to change, you're going to find yourself have to disassociate yourself from your former company. That's right. Especially when that company contributes to your habits. Yeah. I'm trying to stop smoking, but you ain't trying to stay away from your stay friends that smoke. Friends. I'm trying to stop drinking, but yet you ain't trying to stay away from the atmosphere that serve liquor. That's right. I'm trying to stop cursing, but every friend you got curse every day, all day. All day. I'm trying to stop fornicating, then get away from that particular body that you love bouncing on. Mm. I'm trying to stop shacking up, then pack up and leave. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. As long as you keep company with those that pose a threat and those who pose a threat to your conversion, they are contributors to your lifestyle, your character, the way you think, the way you feel, and the way you act. That's right. You ever been around a set of friends so long, all of a sudden, you done got so comfortable with them, you act in a way you never used to act. You act in a way that you never even raised. Yeah. You was raised not to drink. You ain't started drinking or, or sneaking a drink mm-hmm. until you got around those particular friends. That's yeah. true. You was raised as one God. Then you got around some crazy Trinitarian friends yeah. who started reading the Bible to you and you didn't understand. And now you walk away. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, these 301. God, you can't even pray over your grits and fish. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, these 301. That's right. Society is a terrible influence to our uh, being mentally crippled, spiritually crippled. Yeah. And what happens spiritually, we become handicapped. We can't go forward until someone come rescue us from among that sick atmosphere. That's right. And the Bible is like a herb designed to go into your mind, heart, body, and spirit and detox your entire being. That's right. But the detox process is gradual. And for some, the Bible is afflicting too much pain because to walk with God Pain is involved. That's right. Anytime the Bible tells you to deny yourself, deny yourself, that is painful. Oh, yes. To deny, to deprive myself from what I love, just to be right with God. Be right and this is why you often hear me say, Ain't nobody walk with God truly and sincerely without paying the price. That's right. And part of that development. It's pain. Pain. Look at the areas of your being that God, he attacks. Attacks. All right, he attacks your mind. As a sinner, you're used to thinking any stupid thing you want to think. But here come God. Let this mind be in you. (laughs) You'll be like, well, wait a minute, why should God worry about how I think? How we think is what got us in trouble. That's That's right. And for us to stay out of trouble and get on the straight path. Straight path. Nobody changes their behavior until their mind changes. Mind. That's right. When your mind changes slowly but surely, your heart will connect with what you think. So now you become emotionally tied to the thought of change. The mind think it, the heart feel it, and the body demonstrates it. That's true. Are you getting me? That's right. Mind think it. Heart feels it. Body demonstrate it or the body act it out. That's right. So now being that the Bible says your body is the temple of the living God, the living God come with the broom of the scripture to clean up his house. Oh, yeah. This is his house. That's right. Belongs to him. Yeah. Do that thank you so much, he come along and say you're less than nothing. 
do that think you're so high? He come along and let you know he that exalt himself shall be a base. Shall be a base. Every law that God laid yeah. for the human family is designed for the reconstruction and for the betterment of men and women of the earth. That's right. That's right. Preachers say, come to God like you are. Well, everyone does. But God never purpose that you stay with him yeah. like you are. No. Everyone come to God like they are. They are. But the mistake that's made in a religion, you are taught to stay that way. Stay that's that way. right. But God come along and says, Therefore, no, listen. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. What is it? Therefore, if any man be what? in Christ. If any man. Be in Christ. He is a new creature. All right, hold it. That don't mean you're a new creature overnight. No way. What happened? Old things are passed away. Let's go back to the caterpillar. Yeah. When he get in that cocoon, it's in there for a while, in the grave, in the tomb. Tomb made out of silk. Yeah. But when that caterpillar come out, it has a whole new body. That's right. And it has a whole new name. And it has a total transformation. Yes. transformation. Yes. It has a new character. That's right. Caterpillar was in, uh -huh. but it takes time. While it's in there, it's being born again. Yes. Wonderful. It's going through a whole chain transformation. Yeah. So when it comes out of its cocoon, now it got wings. That's right. It got a whole different size body. Yeah. And it got a new name. Right. Yeah. Butterfly. Butterfly. Yeah. And it no longer have to creep on a leaf. Yeah. Now he can fly at will oh, yeah. and land on any leaf that it wants. But before it was changed, it had to stay in there yeah. until God makes that change. Yeah. But remember, the butterfly worked to entune itself, waiting for its change to come. That's right. Problem with religion, Hallelujah. it don't change nobody. It makes you comfortable how you are until you don't see the need for change because change is not being taught. That's right. The only thing being taught is give money and the love of Christ. Yeah. And they being in, in the love of Christ teaching give you this Hollywood version of Jesus, you know, this weak, yeah. feminine version of Jesus. A Jesus who don't get angry, or Jesus who always talk, you know, like he's a, um, uh, some weird priest who have no temper. This the Hollywood version Hollywood. of Jesus. You look at any so-called religious movie, they always make Jesus sound feminine and timid and don't even raise his voice, almost talking with a whisper. Uh, 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 and, and even when it comes to cast out the devil, they make to one possessed with the devil. Ah, ah. And the Hollywood Jesus, the Cecil uh, B. DeMille's Jesus, <laughs> the Paramount Jesus. Paramount. <laughs> He's uh, the Columbia Jesus, <laughs> the Warner Brothers the Jesus. The Warner Brothers. That's right. He's always come out of him. Yeah. Come out of him, my son. What? The devil be in there, oh, what's your name? Ah, don't you worry about my name. <laughs> I'm in the Father. The Father's in me. Jesus walking on water. That's you right. see anybody walking on water, you're going to be scared. Yes. They'll show you the paramount, Peter. Oh, oh, that you, Jesus? That you? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Suffer me to come out there, Jesus, if thou believest thou mayest. <laughs> Am I right, I say? That's right. That's right. But the Jesus of right. the scripture had a militant side to him. Oh, yeah. He was a no-nonsense person. Oh, yes. They took the temple and made it to a den of thieves. Yeah. He come turning over the tables That's with right. the rod beating them out the house. Beat them out. He didn't come in. How much did y'all make? <laughs>
No. What? Am I right, I said? Yeah. That's right. That's right. So Satan, through Paramount, through Paramount, through Warner Brothers, through Hollywood, have whitewashed the authority of God. That's right. Until religion is being influenced by television and not the Bible. Not, amen. amen. And religious worshipers are being influenced by celebrities, yeah. by movies, yeah. by actors and yeah. actresses. Oh, yes. Until what Hollywood does that's what you see in church. You see in church. Right. But what the Bible commands, you don't see in church. See in church. No. And this is why church has become one of the biggest forms of hypocrisy in the earth, wrapped under the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Listen. Back in 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17. If any man. Be in Christ. Be in Christ. He is a new creature. He is a new creature. Old things are passed away. And again, I said, that don't happen overnight. No. It's a gradual process. That's right. Old things are passed away because there's some things that got you tied down tighter. Oh, yeah. Than other things. There's some things you can shake off no problem. Then there's some things you're like, whoa, hey, whoa, hey. That's right. Man, I just, I, this thing got me more tighter than I thought it was. That's true. That's true. So there's something you can shake off, but then there's some things it takes time because it's a struggle. Yeah. Yeah. There's some children come out the wound almost like a jet. Yeah. <laughs> that woman pushed once. It even catch the doctors off guard. Amen. The first thing that comes from the wound is the head. The first thing, the first part, first part of our being that need rescued and delivered yeah. is your mind. That's right. Now, when the head come out, the mother still is asked to push. Yes. She's aiding the baby to come out of darkness. That's right. right. And the doctors is on the opposite side guiding the baby's journey. So it can come out the wound safely. safely. So even though the head come out, sometimes the doctor got to aid it gently to free the head. And sometimes the rest of the body struggles. The first thing about us, we need mental liberation. That's right. In order to have the body totally in compliance with God's law. The scriptures. If the mind is messed up, you messed up. That's true. I don't care who you are. That's true. If your mind is not stable, you're not stable. Not stable. If your mind is not sound, you will not demonstrate sound behavior. No. If your mind is not focused, you will be an unfocused person. That's right. If you got a wandering mind, you will have wandering behavior. That's true. Are you listening? Amen. If your mind is weak, yeah. you're weak. Oh, yeah. If your mind is easy to be influenced, then your body will be able to be manipulated to do whatever, wherever, That's with whomever. True. With whomever. That's, That's right. The person's mind is the foundation of their being. Of their being. So we pray and ask God for strength. Now, most time when we pray and ask God for strength, we just focus on spiritual strength. You more than spiritual. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about? You need strength in the mind. Yeah. The dome of your temple. Dome. So you don't have a leak in your dome. <laughs> That's right. You get a roof, you know, when I go in the property, I'm looking at the foundation. I don't care how beautiful the property is. Yeah. And I'm going to look at property. I don't need no agent following behind me. That's right. That's I'm right. going to look at property because I'm going to invest. I'm going to, I, I want to go to the basement first. Don't tell me how high the ceilings is. I don't care. I'm going through the basement and evaluate foundation because if the foundation ain't right, the beauty is in vain. That's true. That's true. If your foundation ain't right up here, 
your exterior beauty ain't worth a dime. Well, that's right. Because you're going to take that relationship, and because your mind ain't right, your mind ain't sound, your mind ain't together, your mind is not stable, your beauty is not what holds the relationship. The stability of your mind your will mind. hold the relationship. That's and right. if the stability ain't there, you're going to tear it up. That's right. Your relationship between you and God, if you're not stable, you're going to abandon him. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? A double-minded man. What? In James chapter 1 and verse 8. And then after you read that, I believe, give me Ecclesiastes, look what you read last week about the double heart. Right. Are you getting me? St. Hey! James chapter 1 and that verse 8. Listen. A double-minded man. As a man thinks, so is he. You may think that you're ready to get married. Yeah. But because you think it, you ain't got no job. You ain't got no savings account. You, know, you don't even love yourself, so that means you can't love nobody else. Because Jesus taught us, love your neighbor as yourself. You think sex is love. If that's the case, prostitutes are the most loving folks out there. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Sex don't determine a relationship. If you think sex determines a relationship, what about those that have a one-night stand? They're not even a mm. friend with that person. Or they don't, even, they don't even have a relationship with that person. They don't even really know them. Oh, no. A one night stand, leave her standing. That's pregnant. Right. That's right. Are you getting me? Yes. Amen. Hear me good. Hear me good. Yes. Hear me good. St. James chapter 1 and verse 8. Yes. A double minded man. Someone who's split minded. Split minded. Yeah. Okay. Unstable minded. Double minded. Double is unstable. In how much are their actions, William? In all his ways. Amen. Now let's get to heart. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes. Are y'all listening to what I'm telling you? Oh, yes! A double minded man is unstable in how much? In all his ways. All right, now let's get to heart. Now in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 and verse 28. Says what? Distrust not the fear of the Lord when thou art poor. Don't distrust. Don't reject God's fear when you're poor. And come not unto him. Don't come to the Lord with a double heart. Nice, you got double heart? Amen. Nice. Double mind. Double mind. If I'm double minded, yeah. certainly I'm going to be unstable emotionally. That's right. A double heart brings about a double mind. That's right. So if you're unstable, you cannot be depended on. No. If you're unstable, you'll talk a good game. But because you're unstable, you won't live up to the game you talk. That's right. Coming from the hood, there was a saying, I got your back. I got your back, man. And there's some guys, you know, somebody gonna roll up on you, two or three of them, and it's just you. Here comes some of your boys, oh, yo, yo, no, no, no. And we all, mm, 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 mm. we all mixing it up. Yeah. We can depend on shorty. Slim, fats, <laughs> cornbread, turtle man. That's right. Huh? That's right. Shorty red. That's right. We can depend on them. Yeah. Then you have those, hey, yo, yo, I got your back. I mean, they sell wolf tickets. Yeah. But moment come time to speak it up. The only back he got is when you see his back. That's right. Huh? That's right. You get what I'm telling you. Confidence in an unfaithful man. In other words, hype. Hype. Hype don't mean nothing. Before two boxers get in the ring, you know, they, they're both in their locker room, you know. Come on, Jay. Looking in the mirror, styling in profile. Yes, nice, nice. That's right. Yes. Wow. Coming in on their hype music. <laughs> 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 nice. All that don't mean nothing. All that. Once the sound is made, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> That's right. And that bell ring. That's right. The first glove that hit his point. When he get hit, right away. This is for real. <laughs> you understand? Right away, it's real. Right, right away. <laughs> All the locker room jumping and prancing and trash talk. Yeah. It's put through the test. Oh, yes. All that hype, all that speaking in tongues, mm. all that church going, all these vows and promises you made the Lord and you thought by doing this, you're going to make God favor you. All that hype don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. You truly choose to buckle down 
and walk with God and be taught what walking with God truly consists of. That's right. That is not this hypocritical walk in the park that T.D. Jakes make it. It is not That's this right. hypocritical walk in the park that Joel Allstein make it. It is not this hypocritical walk in the park like this is heaven like Farrakhan said because you are black and this is heaven. It don't mean nothing. No, it don't. No, it doesn't. Oh, no. I don't mean nothing. You black, you Hebrew as you like, that's fine. That's you a fine. Jew, that's nice. That's, that's nice. Your blackness don't mean nothing. You a troubled black man. Yeah. And you a troubled black woman. That's right. The only thing that means something to God, your submission to him, your obedience to him, and then take your time and let him change you. Notice what I says. Let him change you. Don't you make a declaration over something based upon the way you felt. You That's ever right. came out of a meeting and you so hyped? Who man. Man, that, 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 that service got me hyped, man. You know, I mean, you, someone speak to you. Hey, well, how you feeling, brother? Oh, man, I'm telling you. I'm hyped. I'm hyped, I'm hyped man. I, mean, I, I heard Gino Jennings, man. I came to that service. I've been wanting to go through that service. And man, look, I came to sleep. <laughs> like I had a bunch of caffeine. <laughs> That's true. Listen, but <laughs> wonderful. Let me that's, just that's pull true. the plug. Pull the plug. Come on down to reality. Yeah. And this is what makes the truth of God so known. We ain't pulling no punches with you. No. We ain't trying to make you feel good. That's right. We present God to you the way God is. Yeah. It's obey him and be right. It is reject him and go to hell. That's it. There is no middle. At all. At all. Are you listening? That's right. Transformation. Transformation. Is a gradual process. Yes, it is. Becoming a new creature is a gradual process. Yes, it is. Folks come here, hear me preaching about women having their head covered, no jewelry, men with long hair and short. They hear us preach all that. I will never run to no one and say, look, you've been here, you've been coming here five years, take them earrings off. Brother, you've been coming here 30 years. Touch your head. No, no, no. Thank you. Let the word of God Wonderful. work on the heart of that caterpillar. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I had many hundreds of write me. Women write me and say, I respect what you teach, but I don't have no dresses. Will I be welcome to come where you preach? Sure. Sure. Just don't come naked. <laughs> you know? In other words, we want some men left in the building. <laughs> Just don't come naked. That's right. You know? Come on in. Yeah. Even homosexuals wrote me, Pastor Jennings, you have convicted my heart. For the first time, I understand that what I'm dealing with is a spirit. Because God made male and female. Right. Yeah. Anything else between that is Satan made. That's Satan right. made. That's it's right. the power of Satan. It's the That's movement right. of Satan. That's right. And they have asked, can I come? Sure, come sure. on. Sure. Atheists have asked, have wrote, you know, they have both proudly, I'm an atheist, but I have a lot of respect of what you're preaching, Mr. Jennings. Uh, having said this, do you mind if I come to hear one of your lectures? <laughs> <laughs> they don't call it preaching. Right. I was in the uh, airport, Come on. And, and a lawyer came to me, yeah. Pastor Jennings. I said, yes, sir, how are you? He said, oh, man. He said, you know, he, he was clean, too. And uh, he's like an Italian gentleman. We was talking. He said, uh, I must say, I, I enjoyed uh, your lectures. They're they are very profound. He said, in fact, as a result of listening to you, you made me practice law different. <laughs> <laughs> Because you know most lawyers are crooks. That's right. And if you can get an honest lawyer, you got something, buddy. Right. The book of scriptures is the only book in the world you will find the intelligence of God. And the intelligence of God opposes the intelligence of man. We approach God logically, personal experiences and feelings. And this is why many of you watching, and perhaps some of you here, 
get mad at me. Uh, I was sitting at home and, and watching the message on YouTube. And, you know, you always got other ministers or whatever these fellows are that come up in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> so there was a topic, discussion on Pastor Geno Jennings. I'm like, who in the world are these fellows? Yeah, that's right. So I pulled it up with this one gentleman, black brother, white brother, and that was the topic for the whole podcast. Wow. And the first remarks was from the uh, black gentleman. Now, that's one thing. He says some good things, but I noticed one thing about him. I believe there's a demon in him. Mm. <laughs> and I started laughing. He said, because he's always angry. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm not angry. No. That's right. They're not used to someone speaking with authority and no fear. That's right. They're used to the Joel Alsteins and the Teddy Bear Jakes. Yeah. Uh, and oh, the, and yeah. the cotton candy Creflo. They're used to these yeah. passive fellas. Smooth. God called his preachers sons of thunder. Sons of thunder. That's true. He addressed his apostles as sons of thunder. Thunder ain't passive. No. When that thunder hit the right climax, it can fill it down in your soul. You ever hear thunder so loud it shake your whole house? And you got to stop what you're doing and like, oh. If you're on the phone, look, girl, I'll talk to you later. Bye. You get what I'm telling you. That's right. Authority is something that many folks are not used to hearing, but they may be used to seeing. So because most people have been exposed to the Hollywood Jesus, the Hollywood version of the Bible, the Hollywood version of the so-called Christian. Media have manipulated the way they think and the way they feel, and they think that serving God is timid, weak, frail. frail. God said that the weak say that I'm strong. strong. So God made me a strong preacher. And I can't take evil and pet it. No. No. No way. There used to preachers who pet evil. That's true. Nice devil. <laughs> nice devil. Nice right. devil. Don't you worry about giving up that weed. That's all right. Come on. Nice crack taker. You all right, crack taker? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Right. <laughs> That's right. Nice crack taker. Be careful how you use the needle now. Get the right vein. That's right. A dyke walk in, trying to influence others to be dyke. That's all right, dyke. You all right? Look, the law can use you too. Can he really? <laughs> Sin is pet up. That's right. Sin is babied. Sin is not rebuked. Sin, no. by the time the preacher's done preaching about sin, it's no sin, no sin to be a sinner. That's right. And this is why you see no change in the churches from the people, but instead they come like little birds sitting in the nest waiting to digest the worm of lies. That's right. Which made them comfortable. Comfortable. Right. John the Baptist was in the wilderness. Yeah. Crying out. Right. Prepare ye yes. the way of the, way Lord. Of the Lord. Make his path straight. 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 That's right. Man was out there crying out. We're crying out in the wilderness of America. Oh, yeah. This would have made this message so distinct. From everything else. And so besides they say he's telling the truth, he's mean. There's an evil spirit in him. Why is he always mad? 
right, right. No, why are you always in sin? That's right. And you find this preaching offensive. Yet, we are known for giving your Bible for Bible everything. Court. That's right. Everything. That's right. It's like the woman who says she was a Hebrew Israelite, if you saw that on YouTube, who called herself prophesying. And she said the Lord told her to direct this prophecy at Geno Jenner some months ago. And she said, the Lord told me to call him Pastor Geno's Jennings. That's what the Lord told me to call Jake. him. And she said, because I don't call Jake's and the others pastor, but I respectfully call uh, Pastor Geno Jennings pastor because the Lord told me. Nice. And the Lord told me to tell him that he should tell some of his followers that believe they're Gentiles, that they're not, but they're really uh, uh, are the original tribes of Israel. And because he has such a large platform, he will have a great influence. Mm -hmm. So when the word got to me and I saw the video, my response was plainly. See, a lot of folk thought my response, I took a shot, was because she was a woman. No, we believe in women prophetess. Right. There, there's many things that was prophesied to me from a woman yes, about this work yes. that have come to pass. Yes. So I know God can make a woman prophesy right. just like he can make a man prophesy. Yes. But I knew what she said, she was said. wasn't from God no. because I judged it by the Bible. Right. So when the word got to me, we did our next webcast. I told her, God ain't told you nothing. God ain't told you nothing. nothing. And I went to the Bible and dismantled it. So she made a, uh, a counter uh, webcast or podcast or whatever because I heard her feelings. So I went from the Lord telling her to call me Pastor Gino, Pastor Gino Jennings, and then she said, oh, the Lord told me not to call him Pastor, <laughs> but just call him Gino. <laughs> <laughs> now think of it. Because your feelings was hurt. Right. The Lord said, Don't you call that man no pastor. You just call him Gino. <laughs> My Lord. Yeah, that's something. You see the hypocrisy? Hypocrisy. Yeah. Good job, Jay. You that's on social media. Amen. Stop playing with God. That's right. And you wonder why God opened my mouth the way he does. Amen. You're playing with your lives. Yeah. You preachers are in the most dangerous position yes, in the world. Yes, and you members, you are in a very dangerous position because the Bible says they which lead thee. Uh -huh. Didn't it say so? That's yeah. right. Calls thee to the error. 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 Give me the ninth chapter, if I'm correct, of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9. Begin at verse 16. I'm at verse 16. Listen. For the leaders of this people. The leaders. The leaders. Of these followers. Cause them to err. They mess them up. And they that are led of them. What will happen to them? Are destroyed. I don't want the people to be destroyed. No. No. That's why we deal with every subject across the board by God's permission. That's right. No subject is off limits. No. That's right. None. That's right. We deal with it. I had someone write me because we dealt with Trump uh -huh. and that fanaticism that the, the, the evangelical society is. So they got upset. You just stick with the Bible. <laughs> Leave politics alone. Well, my job is to preach against all sin. All sin. And because we blast that foolishness from the so-called evangelical lunatics yeah. Amen. where the spirit of Trump came upon them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it still is upon it still them. Is. But some of them are starting to back up. We'll see. I'm watching you, you, you uh, evangelical heathens. You fake us. Amen. Because you still got to repent. Y'all lied on God. Y'all said God said that man going to be the next president. 
right. And if God said it, I don't care how much cheating Democrats would have done. Right. I believe God is strong enough. If he can take the old world and drown it in water, he can outbeat Democrats. Amen. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Come on back to Bible. Yeah. Come that's on it. back. Yeah. Come that's on it. back to Bible. And that's what I want people to do. That's Come it. back to Bible. To the original thing, the way God had it. That's and right. the way God had it then is the way we believe in preaching it, is the way we believe in upholding it, and the way we believe in standing for it. That's right. Yes. You couldn't buy out the apostles back then. No way. And you can't buy me now. No. So and said, you ain't been offered the right thing. You don't know what I've been offered. To the eyes of those who was offering it, it was right to them. Yeah. But it was wrong to me. Oh, yeah. Because I already had a good offer on the table. And that offer came from God. That's right. And there is no other offer that can compete. That's right. With my present offer that I have. That's right. Have I been offered millions of dollars? Yes, sir. <laughs> Have men offered me boats and yachts and planes? Yes, sir. Have they offered me mansions? Yes, sir. If I want a mansion, I know how to work by my own. By your own. Nice, nice. Hmm? That's right. Have yeah. I been offered Bentleys and Rolls Royce? Sure. If I want one, I go buy one. Yeah. If that's what I wanted, I work. I want if I, that's what I wanted, I buy it. Right. And let my wife drive it and go to Acme. <laughs> Why? To me, it ain't nothing but a car. Yeah. Get in it, go to Acme, and buy me some grits and cheese. Yeah. Am I right? That's yeah. right. Are you getting me? For the leaders of this people, the calls leaders them of this era. people calls them the era. And they that are led of them, you that are led by these fakers, are destroyed. You will go to hell and That's burn. Right. That's right. Therefore, the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. You young men is under these false young prophets. Men. And some of these false prophets is your uncle, your father, your friend. You tried to help your friend start a ministry. <laughs> That's yeah. right. That's right. You was the deacon for your friend. <laughs> you hooked up with your homosexual cousin. He convinced you that God can he use can anything. Right. And he came to you. Well, look, Jeff, I'm going, I believe the calling is upon me. The calling, hallelujah. And, 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 and I, I was able to uh, get a few dollars, and I was blessed to buy a church. And uh, That's right. I, I need your help. The Lord, the Lord moved on me to go to my cousin, and I, <laughs> I need your help. I want to spread the message of love to the homosexual community. That's what they'll and say. The, and, and let the people know that, <laughs> that, that God right. has not rejected us <laughs> either. That's right. That's right. That's what they'll say. <laughs> every homosexual church is a false church. Every, every one of them. Every homosexual preacher is a false prophet. That's right. And everyone that endorses it is a hypocrite. That's right. I don't care if it's your brother, your father, your mother, your slap happy grandpappy, or your ancestor a tree. Amen. Take the Bible and cut your whole fairy tree down. Amen. And feathers will fall everywhere. That's right. Amen. Now, when I preach like this, they say he hate gay people. No, I don't hate gay people. No. It's the lifestyle that the Bible attacks. The Lord said all souls are mine. mine. All souls are mine. That's right. God just never intended for a man to marry a man. That's true. God never intended for a woman to marry a woman. That's right. God purposed for the earth to produce. To produce. And no man can produce a child by being in another man's garage trying to file taxes. <laughs> That's right. Are you listening? Am I right, I said? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then when we preach like this, you see them. You see that? You see that? You see what I mean? Why you got to be so foul? Wait a minute. If you straight, why you got a problem with it? See, what I'm trying to do to you fellas, I'm trying to pull up with the scriptures 
so you can leave Brokeback Mountain. That's right. But because you love the climate of Brokeback Mountain. Love it. We want to bring the brace of the scriptures yeah. so you can stand up. A man can't ride your back unless it's bent. That's right. So when we hit hard like this, oh, yeah. you find weak, oh, feeble, yeah. frail, so-called Christians all over social so media. Uh, you see that? I tell you, he's arrogant. Yeah. He's no. beside himself. They often, quote, they often quote the scripture to me, pride go before destruction. <laughs> I believe that. But I'm That's not proud. Right. I'm, a, I'm a pretty nice guy. <laughs> It's just when it comes to the Bible, you don't like it. Don't Hypocrite. Like it. Liar. False prophet. Heathen. Jackley. Devil. They don't like it. <laughs> they don't like it. You understand what I'm saying? You don't like it. Oh, no. This is how you want me to be. You's a bad Christian. That's right. You know, when I came up in the hood, now in the hood, you didn't see many women fight like this. No. Even in the hood, you see a lot of girls out there, come on. Even the girl was like, come on. Come on. That's right. A lot of them from the suburbs, oh, oh. <laughs> One hand on the head, the other, oh, oh, oh. But if she was fighting somebody from the hood, from the, hood. the one from the hood would grab her hand. Uh, uh, uh. Why the one from the suburbs, oh, oh, oh. That's the way you preachers are. That's right. We come along with the Bible, and you running. Oh. They running. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Amen. Come on, William. For the leaders of this people caused them to err. Yes. And they that are led of them are destroyed. Then what? Therefore the Lord shall have no joy in their young men. And? Neither <laughs> shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. What is everyone that's following these fakers? For everyone is an hypocrite. Don't blame me for calling names then. That's right. That's right. Everyone. Everyone. Is an hypocrite. And what? And an evildoer. How was they talk? And every mouth speaketh folly. As a man thinketh, so is he. So Not is he. To God. To you, right. you think you're born again. That's right. Because you bow your head and raise your hands and confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, and you misquote the scripture. Yeah. You said, if I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart, the Lord Jesus, that he rose from the dead, I am saved. Yes. The Bible didn't say that. The Bible didn't say That's that. Right. It said, if you do that, you shall be. Shall be saved. That lets you know you got shall more be. to do. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You went to your Catholic church and got sprinkled by a pervert who disguised himself as a priest? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You watched Benny Hinn, Creflo Old Penny on television? Yep. Or some mega devil who told you to touch the screen and ask the Lord to come into your heart? And you repeat the sinner's prayer, Lord, come into my heart, wash me, cleanse me white as snow. And the preacher said, you're a new creature now, my friend. New creature. You received this blessing. Send an envelope of $20. That's right. That's true. Cheap religion, cheap money. That's true. That's right. Viewers, God wants you to be a new creature. New creature. Yes. Just like the Lord of creation transformed the caterpillar, he wants to transform you. Remember, the Bible called you the worm. Worm. Yeah. And God wants to transform you. That's why he says, repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Why do God want repentance? A convicted person who have remorse yeah. about wrong, he or she is going to change. Yeah. Not someone who just follow the crowd. There are many of you that came to the truth of God and got baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. After that, you went on out to your false church, went back to it, back to it. or went back in the street. You still will be lost and burn in the everlasting hell. That's right. Because when you repent of your sins and are baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, God wants you to stay with him. Stay with him. That don't mean you won't struggle while you're with him. Right. You're going to struggle, but thank God at least we got a divine rule book 
that teaches us how to handle our struggle. That's right. So what a lot of weak sinners do when they hear us preach against sin because they're guilty, they say, you see that? He's so judgmental. No, you're not. And yet what I'm preaching is in the Bible. It's in the Bible. And this is why a lot of people, a lot of churches really don't use the Bible. Because it is a book of judgment. Oh, yes. And they don't want to be judged. No. But Jesus said, judge yourselves. That's right. That ye be not judged. Not judged. So in order for me to judge myself by the book, I must be on the receiving end of the information of the book. That's right. And then don't judge the person next to me. Don't judge my friend or my children or my brother or sister. No, no, no. Right. Sit in judgment upon yourselves. That's right. And be honest about what you know about yourself. Yeah. And be honest about the flaws of yourself. The Bible says repent. You be sorry about your wrong. Yeah. Come on, brother and sister. You've been out here long enough. I didn't say make a New Year's resolution. That's right. I said make a sincere change from the heart yeah. and the mind. You, you didn't discover no magic water. You ain't getting older. Yeah. Or rather, you ain't getting younger. You yeah. are getting older. Everybody's getting older. That's right. Many of our friends didn't even live to see our age. Some of us haven't been out of high school long, and we got friends that are dead already. Yeah. What are you going to do, young man, old man, middle age? Young woman, old, middle age? What are you going to do with yourself? Are you going to keep doing the same repetitious thing, being a fool, pottering, potter, partying, or partying? <laughs> Every weekend, just partying. Here's the mother and the daughter out there getting dressed alike. Yeah. Yeah. Old and young twin fools. Yeah. Here she got a cane and a new ankle chain <laughs> on that big vein around her ankle, and her foot is turning blue. My Lord. Ankle chain is interrupting with blood circulation. Father is sharing his yeah. son's girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, this is common, I'm telling you. This is That's very right. common. That's right. Son will pass it on to the father, and the father, like, oh, yo, thank you, son. Besides having a father and son relationship, they want to be two homeboys. Homeboys. Father's hair is getting white or losing his hair, so he go buy a toupee. That's not even of his ethnic group. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. He walk around with the hair like he's Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. <laughs> That's right. You're a fool and a good fool. That's good fool. Right. The word of God said. Acts 2 and verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. It's time for you to put the bottle down. Put down your drugs, man, your heroin, your weed, your partying, your your crazy wild lifestyle. It, right. All through the years, they did nothing for you but get you in trouble. That's right. And all of these crazy abusive relationships because you thought you were built a particular way and men was drawn to the size of your breasts and your waist and your hips and legs. If you That's need right. certain body parts or utilize those body parts to get a man, you're going to have to keep utilizing those body parts to keep that man. Yeah. The question is, what's going to happen when somebody comes who body parts is more in tune, more bigger, more fluffier <laughs> than yours, <laughs> than you? Am I right? I said, you have those that are built for comfort. Then you have those that are built for speed. But you got some that's built for comfort and they can produce more comfort. So what are you going to do when she come along? That's right. That's right. And then someone come to outdo her. Yeah. The only thing that woman can offer is meat. You ain't got nothing. Yeah. The only thing that man can offer you is the anatomy between his legs. You ain't got nothing. That's true. You can buy that on Amazon. Am I right? Go ahead, man. 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Slow motion, Pastor. <laughs> Slow motion. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. This is raw truth. This is raw truth. You can buy that on Amazon, man. That's the truth of it. That's right. And that's all what many of you men and women got. Yeah. Nothing but a butcher. Yeah. That's all you got is meat. She have nothing else to offer you. Nothing up here and nothing in here. That's right. He have nothing else to offer you. Nothing in here. Just meat and money. That's it. And when you're satisfied with meat and money, you're cheap as a person. Get what I'm telling you. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, brother. This is a hard, rough, in your face message. Oh, yes. My viewers, come out of the churches that you're a member of. Yeah. Which one? All of them. All of them. Pack up and leave. Get off the choir. Let the preacher get a job and go to work if he got to sell balloons. Let him sell balloons and take care of his family. Don't you send his children to school? Don't you pay his gas? Don't you pay his electric? Nothing. Nothing. Let that pulpit buzzard who's flying over your caucus, plucking the dollars out your pocket. Go ahead. Let that vulture get a job or go to work, or let That's him right. die broke and wake up in an everlasting hell. That's right. Get mad if you please. That's right. I don't care. Wonderful. Tune in again next week. So we can pluck your feathers again. Hallelujah. The word of God says. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of and you. And be baptized. Every one of you. Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sin. And what did God promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Ha. I thought about my sister-in-law, Cheryl. Hallelujah. <laughs> we, uh, my wife's birthday and. My in-laws and all of us, we was out. On, uh, so Cheryl said, you know, Gino, I, people talk about you all the time. She said, I tell them. One thing I know about my brother-in-law is only two ways you can feel about him. Love him or hate him. It ain't no mo emotions between that. <laughs> it's just love him or hate him. That's right. That's right. Love me, I'm fine. Hate me, I'm happy. That's right. Either way, Either way, I cannot be bought and I'm not a sellout. And I'm going to preach God's word with the last breath in my body of God be my helper. Hallelujah. Anybody want to obey the Bible? Anybody want to get right? Want to get right and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet. If you want it today, stand on your feet. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow that brother right there. And you sisters that are standing, Follow that sister right there. Hold the sign up, sister. They can't see you. Sister Charlene, hold the sign up because they can't see you. You that are standing, that are sisters, go with that sister there. You that are standing, that are brothers, go with that brother right there. This is the best thing you can ever obey. Amen. Amen. This is good. This is it. It never falls in vain. It never falls in vain. I said. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. Never. Hallelujah. If you're not ready to obey it now, think about it. Ponder it. You be the caterpillar. Go into your cocoon. Hallelujah. Go into your cocoon and yeah. think. Because you're going to have to surrender. That's true. How much passage it is, God wants. Everything about you. Everything. Your eyes, your ears, your hands, your feet, your legs, your mouth. Why do God want it? I'll show you why. Real quick, fifth chapter of the book of Isaiah. Let's see what the word of God said, what he made us for. Isaiah, I believe 43, 5, is it? Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 5. Yes. Fear not, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seed from the east. Yes. And gather thee from the west. Uh -huh. I will say to the north, give up. All right. 
and to the south everything that's back. on the north side you got to surrender to the south side you can't stay back bring, bring my, my sons, sons from, far, from far my daughters from the ends of the earth what is it even everyone that is called by my name please tell us why are we here for i have created him for my glory that's why you're here i have formed him god made you for him Yea, I have made. He didn't make your mouth to smoke cigarettes. No. He made your mouth to pray. He made your mouth to repent. He made your mouth to sing praises unto him. And he made your mouth to verbally wish up him and thank him. That's right. And be apologetic unto him for your way. Hallelujah. Are you listening? That's it. What did he say? For I have created him for my glory. For my glory means he made us for his pleasure. I have formed him. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. Yea, I have made him. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. Come on back. At 5.30, we'll prayer will begin. And if you haven't made plans to be in Greensboro, North Carolina for the closing year convention, make plans now. Hotels are sold out, and they will be there by several thousand. You don't want to miss it. You that had in mind the party, change your mind. Right. Change your mind. Plan, plan to live next year. Serving the Lord now. Other That's than right. keep the same repetitious, fast, foolish, boring life. And then when something happens, then you want God. Yeah. When you're in the hospital on a respirator or with tubes in your veins, now you want your mama to bring her little hymn book. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Get yourself right now. May God keep you. May God preserve you. Let us all stand. Yes. Yes, brother. All right. Come on, brother. Brother says he's sick. Eternal God, in the name of Jesus Christ, look down upon my beloved brother. We ask you by the effectual working of thine power, please give healing to his body, whatever sickness he may have. You declare yourself that you are healer. Thank God you said you're the same yesterday. Glory to God in today and forevermore. Wherever his sickness may be and regardless of what kind, prove yourself in his life. Hallelujah. Be the divine healer that you declared yourself to be. Heal him. Strengthen him. Remove every ache and every pain according to your divine will. These blessings we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let every heart say amen. amen. Please remain standing. Brother Williams will close us out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the word. My God, that was preached and taught in our hearing, Lord. Bless us, O God, now not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of the word. Father God, we thank you, Lord God, for the souls that want to go down in water. In the name of Jesus Christ, bless and help them. My God, that after they're baptized and they don't have the Holy Ghost, bless them that they may receive of thine spirit. My God, remember those that are listening. My God, at thine word being taught. My God, open up the eyes of many that don't understand. My God, bless them that need healing, O God. My God, remember them, dear God, in various situations. My God, that only you can do, help. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, we thank you, Lord, for the man of God. We thank you, Lord God, how you preach through him. My God, that gives us a chance at eternal salvation. My God, we thank you, Lord, for everything that you've been to us. And we thank you, Father God, for all that you've done for us thus far. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.